Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix a volume control not working in Windows 10. There have been reports from Windows 10 users experiencing volume control feature not working or becomes unresponsive, such as wheel becomes stuck either at 100% level or another volume level resulting to difficulty in adjusting the volume. Not being able to adjust the volume is a frustrating experience, but not to worry, we've got you covered. In this video, let us go through several troubleshooting solutions that you can do to fix volume control not working on your Windows 10 PC. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, run audio troubleshooter. Utilizing the built-in audio troubleshooter may be an effective solution in this problem. That is why it is the very first thing that you can do to resolve this problem is to run the troubleshooter. To do this, click start click settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Click update and security, then click. Troubleshoot at left pane. At right pane, click additional troubleshooters. Click playing audio. Click run the troubleshooter tab. Select which device you want to troubleshoot, then click next. Then choose to open or not audio enhancements. Windows will now detect problems. Follow the on-screen instructions if a fix is needed. If there are no problems found, Click close to exit. Check if issue still occurs. Second solution, restart audio services. A glitch or a bug can cause the audio services on your Windows PC to temporarily stop or not responding. To fix this, you may need to restart these services. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type services.msc and press enter. At services window, locate Windows audio service. Since the services are arranged alphabetically, this service is usually at the bottom portion. Right-click on the service and then click Restart from the drop-down menu. Wait for Windows Audio Service to completely restart. Then right-click on Windows Audio Service and then click Properties. Add Properties window. Make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to apply changes made. Click OK to exit. Next, add Services window. Locate Windows Audio Endpoint Builder Service. Right-click on the service and then click Restart from the drop-down menu. Wait for the service to completely restart, then right-click on the service and then click Properties. At Properties window, make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to apply changes made. Click OK to exit. Restart Computer. Once Computer completely reboots, check if issue still occurs. Third solution, restart Windows Explorer. It is also possible that Windows Explorer can cause volume control not working on your Windows PC. Try to restart Windows Explorer as it can sometimes resolve the issue with volume control. To do this, right click on Start button, then select Task Manager. Next, under Apps, click Windows Explorer. Then select Restart tab at the lower right. Wait for Windows Explorer to restart. Check if issue still occurs. Fourth solution, update Sound Driver. An outdated sound driver can also be the cause for volume control not working. Make sure drivers are up to date to prevent sound-related problems. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard at Run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then, at Device Manager window, click Sound, Video, and Gaming Controllers to expand it. Right-click on the driver and then click Update Driver from the drop-down menu. Then, select the option search automatically for driver softwares. Windows will now search for available drivers. Once latest drivers are already installed, click close to exit and then check if issue still occurs. Fifth solution, reinstall sound driver. If updating the driver does not help fix volume control, not working issue, reinstalling sound driver often fixes this problem. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type dev mgmt.msc and press enter. Then click on Sound, Video, and Game Controllers to expand it. Then right-click the problematic driver and then select Uninstall Device from the drop-down menu. Wait for the uninstall process to complete. Exit Device Manager window. Next, restart your computer. Once computer completely reboots, Windows will automatically detect and install available drivers. Then check if the issue still occurs. Sixth solution, make changes to the speaker's properties. This solution involves modifying or making changes to the properties of the audio device you are using, whether it is an internal speaker or an external one connected to your PC. Other users claim to have resolved the problem after performing this solution. To do this, type control panel at the search bar. 
make sure view by is set to large or small icons, then click sound. At Sound Properties window, click Playback. All audio devices will be displayed. Next, right-click on your preferred speaker and then select Enable from the drop-down menu. Then click on Set as default device. Right-click on the speaker again and then select Properties. Then, click Levels tab and then make sure Volume Level is set to 100. Next, click Advanced tab. Make sure Option Allow Application to Take Exclusive Control of this device is marked as Check. Click Apply to apply changes made and then click OK to exit. Check if issue still occurs. Seventh solution, run SFC scan. Another solution that you can try to fix the issue is to do a system file checker scan. Therefore, if any malware is hindering the operation of the volume control, this process will detect and eliminate it. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click Run as administrator from the drop-down menu. At command prompt window, type the command SFC scan now and press enter. Wait for SFC scan to complete. Next, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if issue still occurs. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.